Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a collab beer. This one is between Polly's and Vault City. This is Vaulting Polly and it is a 5.8% sour with mango and Eldorado. There it is. This is a part of their sixth birthday beer set that Polly's had. Um, I've only done two of them. I missed the other three. A bit upset. They had a nice imperial looking stout. I was looking forward to getting it and they sold out and I couldn't get it. So it was a little let down, but oh well, I got what I could, uh, which I've enjoyed so far. I think I've uploaded them all. If I haven't, they'll be up soon, if I upload this first, but I doubt I will. Anyway, yeah, uh, looking forward to this one. Uh, there's no guff on the side. It's a vegan friendly beer, and like I say, it's 5.8%. Six birthday collab, yeah. There's the can art. Nice plants, flower. Stuff looks cool. Let's crack it open, see what we got. Looking forward to it. Don't really have an issue with Polly's, don't really have an issue with Vault City. So I'm looking forward to this beer. I'm hoping it should be a match made in heaven. Alright, let the carbs settle. You can see that as well. Alright, there's our beer. It's like, shit, what's that? Can't tell if that's dirt in my glass. Oh yeah, it is. It's dirt on my glass. Um, so we have a really hazy yellow, pale yellow beer with a uh, off-white compact head. Looks nice. Let's get a smell and see what we get, shall we? Oh, you can smell the Vault City in this. I'm telling you. There's a very citrusy kick to it, like lemons, limes, grapefruits, citrus, like the, the sour citrus. Kind of reminds me of Pink Lemonade they released, Vault City. It smells great. It's a mouthful of body and garb. Body is very light, really, really light. Um, carbs are light, medium. Sour scale, I give it a four to five. It's good, and a nice dryness to it, like an instant dryness. So when you've got this sour building up, dryness pulls all the moisture out and leaves the sour, so it's the only thing in your mouth. So you get this really big sour kick all of a sudden, but it doesn't last, it's not a lasting sour, it's literally like a second, you get this nice kick of sour, and it goes away. So far, so good. Let's get a big old taste, shall we? Cheers. Like I say, really dry. It sucks all the moisture out of your mouth. <clears throat> um, so, flavour. Uh, first thing you get, mangoes. Nice, big, juicy, ripe mangoes. Really, really nice, refreshing. Uh, and then instantly, as soon as you taste the mangoes, that goes away and goes straight into your sour flavours. Lemons, grapefruits, limes, really, really sour, really, really tart. A little bit of cherries in there. It's really, really like that. Sour tartiness. The sour itself isn't sour sour. It says about a four or a five. But you do get a nice kick when all that citrus flavours come in. Um, so yeah, you get a nice kick when all the citrus flavours come in and then it goes instantly dry, instant, it just sucks all the moisture out of your mouth and you just left this dry, sour feel to it. And that's it, it's done, it's gone, everything's gone, you should go back for more because of how dry it is, you need to refresh the palate, go for another sip, yeah, it's... really good. I really enjoy that. That's a great beer. Yeah, I think that's a really, really good sour. It's not over the top, it not smacks you in the face. It's a good, let's say intermediate sour. So you, you beginner sours have a little kick to it, but not stupid. And you got this, this is sort of in that scale where you've got used to your, your beginner sours, the little kicks, you're used to it and you want a bit more. This is a good one. 
you're moving up the scale. You're not you're not ready for the big sours, the ones that really smack you in the face. But you want something to give it a bit of a kick, something that you're not used to. This is it. Perfect for that. It's great. I really like that. I think it's good for a birthday beer. <coughs> Especially Polly's um, sixth birthday. I don't think I've had a Polly's sour... Oft, or I don't think I have poly sours often. I tend to go for their dippers, IPAs, New England's. So it's nice to see Polly doing something different. At least that from what I can see. They probably do sours all the time, but where I get my beer from, I don't see sour polys. Don't see them at all. So when I do see them, they are few and far between. And I don't think I even buy them. Just because Vault City is like the the kings of sour so I kind of don't really trust anyone else but I'm looking at this thinking yeah Vault City's on the hand in it but it's mostly a Polly's beer come on I've spoke to a couple people who brew mainly Ryan at Chain House and when they collab they get a say in stuff they go down test all the hops and stuff but it's still the brew at the end of the day that puts everything together um, so yeah, very good beer. I love it. It's, it's nice. It's a good, good beer. So, Polly's and Vault City. I'm gonna go in and enjoy this. Polly's and Vault City's Vaulting Polly, 5.8% sour with mango and Eldorado. Out of 10, it's a nice nine out of 10. It's good. I really, really like it. It's. You can tell it's not a Vault City beer, but you can tell it's something that Polly's stepped out the comfort zone for this. It's great. So, if you have had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think. If you like it, if you don't, if you've not had it, I'll leave a link to Polly's website down below. You can't get this, I don't think, anymore. It's way past their sixth birthday. I bought this, and it's just been in my fridge for a while now, so I've not really got around to it. I just thought, why not? May as well get it out. The big trend for it all is gone, so I thought I'd throw mine out there. Now it's gone, and it's not getting lost in all the Polly's and Vault City collab video. Anyway, uh, but yeah, if you want any Polly's or Vault City, link will be down below for either of them. I've got a Vault City parcel on the way. I'm looking forward to it because I love a bit of Vault City. They're just, they're just good. So um, yeah, if you like the video, though, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so because the show must go on, etc., etc., so on and so forth. And I'll see you later. Bye.